Solitary sandpipers are similar to the spotted sandpiper, but are darker, and they have olive gray wings, a black and white tail, green legs, and an eye ring. They have blackish underwings next to a white belly, which are especially visible in flight. They're usually seen by themselves, as their name implies. During migration, which occurs in May and August, it can be found in very small and temporary wetland areas, any area with especially muddy shorelines. They will stop at ditches, stagnant pools, cow pastures, rain pools, swamps, and bogs. Their diet consists of mosquito larvae, midges, grasshoppers, caterpillars, beetles, caddisfly larvae, small flies, water boatmen, dragonfly nymphs, worms, and larger prey such as small clams, crayfish, snails, small fish, tadpoles, salamanders, and frogs. They hunt for them along muddy shores and in shallow water and then seize it with their bill. To get the prey to move so they can more easily find it, they will vibrate one foot in the water. They have a habit of bobbing their head while searching for food. Solitary sandpipers remain together for life. Territories are established by the males as soon as they arrive in spring. Displays include the male rising a few yards into the air with his wings quivering, spreading his tail, and singing before descending. Fights occur between males, which involves extensive pecking until one leaves. Before and after copulating, the male holds up one wing, then after, he flies a slow, short distance, ending with a song as he hovers. Quite the romantic. It's the only sandpiper in North America that lays eggs in old tree nests. Nesting takes place near lakes, ponds, and creeks, around bogs and spruce trees. Males will search for old songbird nests, and females decide if they like it. Then she will remove the old lining and add new material. She will lay three to five eggs and incubate them for 23 to 24 days. As soon as the down drives, they leave the nest. Both the male and female share the responsibilities of feeding and caring for their young.